I think the urban environment is closer to what is us than isolation or us in a diaspora distributed over larger areas. That is not the human being. We are flockish and we are looking for our flock. And in that sense, the urban environment are much more friendly than any other human environment. Sustainability is the key thing to make future cities uh, successful. And I think that actually it goes both ways. I think the cities are an opportunity to create a more sustainable world. So I think the, the main thing in uh, future cities is to be healthy and clean and uh, green because those things are the fundamentals of uh, good quality of life. There are three megatrends that affect uh, every single city in the world currently. Globalization, the environment and digitalization. And digitalization or i.e. the technology development is absolutely the most critical and dominant and influencing one of these all. I think it's a, uh, not the best uh, trend that every city is becoming alike. What cities should strive for is some sort of uniqueness. Basically, a thriving city is a city that provides a high quality of life for its inhabitants. It means that uh, it creates economic growth and uh, job opportunities and uh, good services for, for people. So in, in terms of a, what technology enables and digitalization enables, it enables for ourselves to liberate ourselves from, let's say, more uh, repetitive tasks, uh, to do something more creative, but it also challenges us to be more competitive and, and develop ourselves uh, for the future. Uh, when we transform this planet from 220 countries to 600 cities, the pressure on nature will decline for the simple reason that we will live on less than one and a half percent of the land mass. So that's nature. When it comes to people, it seems like the city, to the best of our knowledge, not only makes us more prosperous, but also happier. I just think you need to focus on remembering who the city is for. It's for the people who live there.